forests are amazing places. They are home to many different types of trees, animals, and plants. And forests help provide clean air, water, and food for us, and all living things. Forests are great places for adventures, hiking, and exploring nature. You might find hidden waterfalls, mysterious caves, or even animal tracks. And here are some of the things that make forests so special. There are three main kinds, tropical rainforests, temperate forests, and boreal forests. In tropical rainforest, it's like a never-ending summer with lots of rain, and you can find colorful birds, monkeys, and amazing plants. Rainforests are like the lungs of the earth, producing a lot of the oxygen we breathe and regulating the climate. Temperate forests have four distinct seasons, spring, summer, fall, and winter, and are also home to animals like bears, deer, and squirrels. Boreal forests, also known as taiga, are found in colder regions and have evergreen trees like pine and spruce with animals like wolves and moose. Forests help provide clean air by taking in carbon dioxide and giving out oxygen, which is super important for us and all living things. Forests are like a big family with many different species, and they depend on each other for survival and delicate balance. And hey, guess what? Did you know that forests have different layers like a cake? The canopy is the top layer where the branches and leaves make a roof, and the understory is like the middle layer with smaller plants. Moss and ferns are like the carpet of the forest floor, making it a comfy place for bugs and tiny creatures. Forests also act like giant water filters. They soak up rainwater and help prevent floods, keeping our surroundings safe. Many animals that live in the forest, like foxes, rabbits, and owls, make cozy homes in the trees or on the forest floor, sometimes even in caves. Some forests have special animals like chameleons, which can change their colors to match the leaves and hide from other animals. Some forests have trees that lose their leaves in the fall, like a big colorful party before winter. And they're called deciduous trees, and they include maples, elm, and oak trees. There are also some other trees called evergreens, because they stay green all year round, even in winter and they include pine, spruce, and fir trees. Some forests have trees with really tall trunks, like redwood trees, which can grow as tall as a 30-story building. That's like 12 to 15 two-story houses stacked on top of each other. Trees in the forest have rings, and by counting them, scientists can learn how old the tree is and even what the weather was like many years ago. Trees in the forest are like superheroes, absorbing harmful pollutants from the air and making it cleaner for everyone. And people use wood from trees in the forest to build houses, make furniture, and create many useful things. But it's also important that we must do it responsibly. Well, hey, guess what? Next time you're near a forest, take some time to explore it and learn more about the amazing things that live there. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to smash that thumbs up button. It really helps out our channel. It sure does. Make sure you subscribe. Bye. Bye.